This is Math 98, and this problem is off of practice test 1. It's problem number 16. I'm going to solve it. It's a system. And so I have to um, figure out what x, y pair make these both true at the same time. So I have a 3x and a negative 12x. I have a negative 4x and a 16. I think I'll try and cancel out the x's. And I'm going to use elimination. So this is already a negative 12x. So if I were to multiply this top equation by 4, that would make this a positive 12x. And then when I add them together, my x's will cancel. So 3x times 4, 12x. Uh, negative 4y times 4, negative 16y. Oh, it looks like trouble. Negative 5 times 4, negative 20. Um, that's a 0. That's a 0. That's a 0. 0 equals 0. That's a true statement. That's trivial, right? I mean, you know that. So here's what happened. I started with an argument. I uh, started with a premise, went through an argument, end up with a statement that's always true. That means these always have to be true. That, this means that these are the same line. I have an infinite number of solutions. Whoops, same line. An infinite number of solutions, and they are this line. 